Perfect World Episode 71 trailer has been updated. Small Tower and Willow God battled the gods from the upper realm. This battle is extremely tragic, and some gods who live for endless years die in this battle, causing the order of heaven and earth to collapse. Small Tower is seriously injured, and the tower body is covered with cracks and charred black. Willow God gets a new opportunity in the battle. She does not return but go to find the great fortune. Upon hearing the news, Sherhao's mouth twitches with delight. Willow God can gain something, and he is really happy for she. Now Small Tower is sleeping, and Willow God has gone away to experience. Sherhao guards the palace alone. From time to time, he flirts with Yuchan. Want to break through Yuechun's spiritual defense line? Peep at the secret technique on Yuechun's spiritual world. It's just that the goddess's dharma image sealed in Yuechun's consciousness has made him unable to achieve his wish. On this day, Bulo Mountain sends someone here. The person who comes is the Bulo Mountain venerable that Sher Hao let go last time. This time he brings the decree of Bulo Mountain. Inviting Sher Hao to Bulo Mountain. The moment he sees Sher Hao, Bulo Mountain venerable behaves respectfully. Seriously bowing his hands to meet Sher Hao, there is full of admiration and fear in his expression. Sher Hao's brutal combat power leaves a deep psychological shadow on him. Hearing the one's narration, Sher Hao falls into deep thought. He knows that Bulo Mountain set up a bureau for him, this is a trap. But he really misses his parents. Taking a long breath, Sher Hao accepts the invitation of Bulo Mountain. Even if there is a sea of swords and flames ahead, he still wants to find his family. The journey to Bulo Mountain is long, they need to take a wind boat. As a result, Bulo Mountain Venerable only brings a small broken boat. Sher Hao's face is full of disdain, and he ruthlessly ridicules that Bulo Mountain is too poor. In order to travel as soon as possible, Sher Hao decides to change to a big ship. This is a huge ship with a body length of more than 100 feet, the deck is like a big square. The hull is arranged with dozens of cabins, large and small. These are the rooms reserved for VIPs. The moment Sher Hao steps into the giant ship, a fragrant scent comes. A young girl approaches. Her fair face is engraved with delicate facial features. A close-fitting red dress perfectly wraps her bumpy figure, outlining an attractive curve. When passing by Sher Hao, she sways gracefully and tiptoes lightly. Flexibly turns around. The stunning appearance makes Sher Hao fix his eyes on her beautiful figure. Looking at her, Sher Hao only feels that girl's eyes are like silk. The abundance of water in her beautiful eyes reveals an irresistible charm. The identity of this girl in red is not simple. Her name is Hong Huang. She is from the upper realm. Just passing by, Sher Hao feels the extraordinariness of the girl. However, he doesn't take it too seriously. Now all his thoughts are on Bulo Mountain, and he wants to see his parents as soon as possible. Sher Hao walks into the cabin and finds a VIP room through the background of Bulo Mountain. In the room, Sher Hao sits leisurely. Standing beside him is Venerable Bulo Mountain and several disciples of Bulo Mountain. These few disciples of Bulo Mountain do not know, Sher Hao powerfully beheaded Venerable. In their eyes, Bulo Mountain is a detachment from above. Sher Hao is too arrogant, he doesn't take Bulo Mountain in his eyes at all. The subtle hostility fluctuations of these disciples still could not escape Sher Hao's perception. Haven't waits for them to respond. Sher Hao's body is bubbling with aura, and ten great caves opened behind him. Imprisons everyone in Bulo Mountain. Not only does Sher Hao want to give these people a slap in the face, he also wants to take the opportunity to search for their consciousness and finds news about his parents. However, Sher Hao is disappointed, these people don't have enough status. And can't touch such high-level secrets at all. Sher Hao's ten great caves quickly cause a commotion on this huge ship. Some heavenly arrogances from the upper realm senses the existence of ten great caves. Reveal a shocking color. Among them is the bright girl Hong Huang that Sher Hao sees earlier. There is also a girl wearing a light blue robe, with a warm and restrained breath. Her name is Lan Yu, and she is also a fairy from the upper realm. The two come to Sher Hao's cabin, trying to win over Sher Hao. Even if it is placed in the upper realm, ten great caves are the top genius. When Sher Hao see the two fairies visiting, his tone is quite polite. However, it's just that the temperament of the bear child is difficult to change. Not long after the conversation, he cheekily says to Hong Huang that he wants to carry her back to the village. Hong Huang is stunned at first. She does not expect that a person from the lower realm will dare to be so disrespectful to the fairy from the upper realm. Her charming eyes blinked, and the dark eyebrows twitches. Says towards Sher Hao in a cold voice. Come and try. The cold tone is deliberately raised a bit. Sher Hao ignores the threats in the opponent's tone. Naturally, he will not refuse the request of a beautiful woman. So Sher Hao's arm suddenly probes. Grabs towards Hong Wang's slender, soft waist. 
Hongwine dodges, and jade-like hands shake. A red phoenix shoots up from the sky, and then violently attacks Sher Hao. Sher Hao is calm and composed, his hands forms a seal. He summons Suzaku, who has been enveloped in flames. Suzaku and Phoenix roar, and the two giant beasts charge towards each other fiercely. Suzaku and Chi Huang are born to be a perfect match. Hong Wang, do you want to marry him and stay in the lower realm? The people watching the lively don't think it's a big deal, and they make fun. When Hong Huang hears this, he is not angry. Instead, she restrains her breath. She have no intention of becoming an enemy of Sher Hao. And just wants to test Sher Hao's strength. After the fight, she finds that Sher Hao's strength is stronger than she thought. A charming smile appears on the bewitching face of Hong Wang. Afterwards, she walks towards Sher Hao again. Invites Sher Hao to join her family. Sher Hao has no intention of going to the upper realm at this time, he has to find his family first. So he rejects Hong Wang's kindness again. However, during Sher Hao's conversation with Hong Wang, he hears a lot of secrets from the upper realm. It makes their relationship a lot closer.